ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action where we are live in Blackpool! It's the Stan James .com World Match Play. Time to meet the players. Time to meet El Matador. Yeah! Irving King, semi-finalist last year. Rod Harrington was talking about a new throwing action that he's got. It's up against this young Dutchman, former world champion, of course, Jelle Klassen. Commentary team, John Gwynn and Stuart Pike. Well, it could be some match, this. Klassen against King. And Mervyn King revealing he has a new throwing style. Jelle Klassen, well... A big favourite with the crowd and the Dutchman, very, very dangerous. Mervyn King could have had an easier draw, that's for sure. Klassen will pose him a few problems. And John, it'll be interesting to have a look to see how much King has indeed altered his throw. Yes, intrigued, to be honest, Stuart, as to... Uh... How different it is, there he is, 44 years of age, Bradwell in Norfolk. Original uh, nickname, the King, I wonder where that came from. Anyway, game on it is, Klassen with the throw, quick throwing, somewhat unorthodox. But uh, 140 to start with, brilliant stuff, and uh, I think it's going to be that kind of match. Can't see it being a 10-1 or a 10-0 somehow, Stuart. 45. Tough, tough test here for Mervyn King. The worthy obligatory booze for King on the walk on. But uh, Yala Klassen will look forward to this, I'm sure. The Dutchman have done rather well here so far. Barney, Van der Waart, Stompy all winning. Always enjoy watching Yella Klassen. Never quite know what you're going to get. Well, that's very, very true. And Mervyn King, tend to know what you're going to get in the main. But... 97. Two lads giving us a rather special K feel about this particular match, and... Uh, King, the seeded man at number four, Klassen. Doesn't lack class at all, but does tend occasionally to be a little wayward. That's because of the, I think anyway, the style of his throw. That's a really good dart. Against the throw, double five it is. And, well, Yellow Klassen 
looked to be cruising, and all of a sudden King just snuck up on him, didn't he? At the, the latter stages of that opening leg, hits the double, the double five, breaks the throw. I'm just looking, there doesn't seem to be too much difference in the King throw. It, it, much more of an arc, he reckons. Arc is the word that King used to describe what he's doing. Perhaps a little bit, his foot a little bit different. Yes, I think it's the angle. The angle of the foot at the hockey, yeah. That's right. So it changes, obviously. Not the actual style of the throw, but there we see it. The style is the same, it would seem to me, but he's just changed his foot angle on the hockey and uh, just just changes uh, his angle at the board, his angle with the board at the hockey. Slightly more side on now. Yeah, arc is the word that King used to describe it. Said he will persevere with it. You can see there, just a little bit... A li perhaps about 60, 70 degrees there on the foot and a little bit more loop, perhaps, 79. in the throw. Doesn't seem to have affected him, though, does it? Well, exactly, and uh, nothing wrong with... Uh, it's no, not more said. than experimentation, it's a genuine attempt to find that extra percentage in your game that, of course, you need to win these big tournaments. John, you're absolutely right. I mean, he, he, we've seen King in semi-finals, we've seen King in finals. Hasn't yet won a really big one since he came over to the PDC. And I guess 49. thinking about the game, anything he could do to challenge Taylor, to beat Taylor, to win. Well, 48. Could have been a nice finish to 2 0, but this gives Klassen a chance now. 20 and tops. Tops, he wants to break back. Brilliant stuff from Klassen. He can only see that left hand side of the top. Look at that. Found the left hand side. To go to the right hand side, he'd have had to throw over that dart. That was brilliant, Stuart. This, this is, is brilliant as well. Yeah, this is pretty good. See what I mean about enjoying watching Yella Klassen play? I mean, he can be so explosive. We saw his brilliant run. Uh, to the quarter-finals at the Worlds and the experience that he possibly gained from being in the in the Premier League last year. He was still a boy, don't forget, yeah. when, he won, when he won the world title at the Lakeside. That's right, he's 25 now. That was uh, 2006. He was only 20, 20, 21 at the time. 25. I think approaching his 21st birthday. On the way... To winning that title, he beat Mervyn King. 65. Second round, four, yeah. four sets to two, I think it was. And beat Barney, of course, in the final. A very nervous Barney in the final. So they've known each other a few years, oh, these two. 40. Opted within 12 months of each other to take the BDC route. And uh, there oh, is a marvellous, marvellous maximum from Clatton. Oh, he's not going to be outdone here by his senior opponent. Good reply, though, from King. What a match we've got already. Brilliant dance from the Dutchman. Well, three legs in the blink of an eye, both averaging 95 96. This is great darting entertainment. I mean, you know, you and I were all in a very privileged position to be able to do this job and to watch darts. Year in, year out, but 81. I pay to watch Klassen. Yeah. Well, I'll take the money off you after then. Oh, remember that great game at uh, the Ali Pali? Was it Klassen and Van der Voort, the two Dutchmen, firing yeah. hard? 22 1 in the match. First round match as well. Yeah, it was, it was. And then Klassen on that occasion, if I'm not mistaken, John, if someone will correct me, missed 12 darts for the match. Yeah. Van der Voort won it. Great well, game. Yeah, I was commentating on that, Stuart. It was a fantastic match, and you were sitting alongside me, yeah. Oh, one lucky. Three darts, all just above the treble 20. But that does now give King a great chance here to come back at. Oh, lovely darts again. Leaves 57. So you would expect King to level up at two legs all here. First two legs went against the throw. The next two, it looks anyway. 
are going to go with throw. Topsy wants. Great first start. Always going to be, wasn't it? Always going to follow. Two all. Really good match here. At the match play, day three here so in Blackpool. Eight. Brown, Whitlock, Anderson, already winners. Ah, great darts from Mervyn King, and I get the impression, you know, that King is enjoying the pace of this game. I think he's enjoying the fact that he's not having a wait all that long behind his opponent before he's back to the hockey again. I think he's enjoying this, and he's proving it with those arrows. It, it, it's an interesting point, isn't it? So often you see players, when they take on the likes of Van der Voort and Klassen, try to slow them down. King, on the other hand, is embracing it, literally taking it all in his stride to his advantage. Yeah, good word, embracing it. Dead right. Super stuff, Those super stuff to leave himself on 170, but King has earned the right. First shot at a double, careless first dart, needed the treble. Klassen shows class now with a 170 finish, Stu. It would be wonderful. Oh, what a good first dart. Well, that was unlucky. Just took the slightest kiss, didn't it? Off the flight, which took it out of the treble 20. Looks like being 3 2 King. Uh, double four. 3-2 kick, it is, dead right, fabulous match, five less, it's extra goal time, they're off for a break already, we'll be back soon for more, brilliant, brilliant, and a flinging pop. Three, class of two, still anybody's. Yes, I agree. Uh, it's nip and tuck. There's nothing 10 0 or 10 1 about this. Uh, this is one of those games that could stretch on beyond uh, into extra time. And King, as though we'd never been away, hits a 180. That's one apiece now tonight. Yeah, just, just good all round. Oh, he's had a couple of live darters on telly, hasn't he? TV majors at Bolton and Johannesburg. 60. Yes, uh, I happen to call them. Well, both. Rod Harrington was with me when we did the one in Johannesburg last September. First one, the only one so far in the 45. Southern Hemisphere on television. And... Um, and also the one at the UK Open at Bolton, of course, against Gary Anderson. 92. In that uh, quarter-final, which he lost. And it could be King and Anderson all well over be. again on Thursday. He just looks in the zone, doesn't he? He really does. In the zone. And that's a deliberate dart for treble 16. He did it before, of course, when he wanted uh, 56. Uh, it, it leaves him double four. He loves it. This is for a 13 darter. And that is class. There's no doubt about it. Mervyn King looks to me to be ready for this tournament. He looks good. He really does. His average is 101.03. Class are normally at 90.38. Might expect to be maybe a leg down or even 55. level. Yeah, has to hold on here, the Dutchman. King has won the last three legs. 134. Finishing for both of them. Klassen hasn't missed. Two out of two. Four out of seven for Mervyn King. A maximum each. Good averages all round. And uh, 95. It really is a top quality tungsten here at the match play. And here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. Yes, King on a roll, but 
Klassen not to be outdone there. Make sure that he's in with a chance of stopping the rot. 87 he needs for an 11 dart finish. Treble 17. Well, he'll go treble 18. Brilliant dart. Double eight would have done it, but he'll be back. It's been played at a really good pace, isn't it? And it's suiting well, both players the way it's going, and they're not letting us down. 4 3, Classen, just one break of throw down with plenty of time left. 4 3, but <laughs> really good stuff, really good jump. Yes, that's right, it's, it's, a, it's great, it's absolutely fantastic. And, uh, Privileged to be sitting here, as you say, because we uh, well, really are seeing today. a quality match. Klassen impressing me. Uh, I, I, I criticise him on occasion because of his waywardness and not keen on his throw. But 96. when he's on form, as you say, when they're going, he really does look good. Yeah, 3D is coming at the Sixth weekend. Day. Another history-making moment for live darts. Sky Sports semi finals and final 3D. We've been playing with three darts ever since it started. What are you on about? Three darts? Oh, 3D. Three dimensional. Yes. 60. Can't wait to see it in the round. Perfect again. 140. And. Uh, it's been another really, really good leg. Doesn't like the lie there, will come down effectively from Klassen. Oh, class from both of them. Blink and you'll miss it. Oh, well, he went for, he went for double top there. Now, a chance here maybe for Klassen to break back to level the game. Brilliant! Topsy does it! 107! That's why he is so good to watch. Both of them are putting on one heck of a show here at the Winter Gardens. For all. Terrific. Stuart, you will not see a better 107 finish than that in three darts. Bullseye 17 and tops. That was fantastic. And this match just keeps giving us better. And better, another 180 from King. My, my, 84. what a contest! Um, rueful shake of the head there from Yellow Classen because he knows it's only effective well, to break the King's throw if he can hold on here. And King has already stolen a march in this ninth leg, but perhaps not anymore. Well, Unlucky again. again, just the slightest kiss off the barrel, taking it out of the treble 20. Classen's finishing job, four out of five. Yeah, um, I always say you're learning something new in this game, and I, I've realised now, having seen Classen go out on 107 there, as he's looking now for another brilliant, brilliant... Oh, yes, delete 20! Absolutely fantastic! Now, King, he was favourite before those three darts. Now, Classen to go ahead, one double 10 in 13 hours. Needs this. Well, we gave him the big build up because he produced six brilliant darts to leave himself on 20. Three clean darts to go 5 4 up. Is that going to be a big turning point in this match? I wonder. I don't know, but I wonder if he didn't fancy the double five, so he stayed outside that double ten, didn't attack it. He's got to attack it now, and if he goes inside, he's got to attack the double five as well, like now. There you are, did it! That's correct, he did it this time. I don't think he wanted that double five before, and he stayed outside the ten, but my, he's ahead. 5-4, suddenly, he's won three on the drop. Yeah, this is just sensational darts from both Yella Klassen and from Mervyn King. And Yeah, I agree with you, John. I love to see that the players, when they do have to go, if they miss the 20 or miss the 10 and they go for the five, I like to see the aggression with the throw. Quite often we see players a little bit too tentative, aiming high, aiming for a marker. Klassen went 
bang straight for it. Like... Here he goes again. You'll scud you again on the three pin points there. They were all together. Brilliant stuff. Oh yes. Incredible. 98 average king, 96 Klassen. Some scoring and some finishing of the highest quality. 2-1 Klassen, 3 on the spin, 4-2 King, 3 on the trot for the Dutchman, 5-4 Klassen. 140. Yeah, and he wants a 1-6-4 here. With King on 89. Got a fancy King here, 89 the way he's playing. He'll have at least a dart at the ball. He'll go 19s, if he gets single 19, he'll go up for 20. Now then, 20 on the ball. Bulls high. I don't think he was bothered about the treble, and he got the length right. Was it was 100. just the line that was fractionally out. Oh, just missing. Just missed the big treble. 59. Well, he'll be very disappointed with that. King here, just to hang on at five all. Two eights for King. Big, big dart. So now easy. then, is that a big, big oh, miss? Yes, he's hit it twice already in this match. I thought he was going to do it a third time. Now Klassen for a break of throw. And 6-4. Now then, double 16, rushed it. Rushed it. Oh, but he's again way when King takes his darts from his pocket. Thought that was the end of the session, Stuart. King he couldn't didn't look. think he'd be back. No. He'll get the double four. Double two, what an important leg. What an important dart. Well, I couldn't see him missing double four, and I doubt whether Klassen could either. Suddenly, the crown beginning to look a little loose on the head of his supporters. Six four to the Dutchman. What a match. Can't wait for more, but we'll be getting more soon. Great stuff, isn't it? <laughs> it uh, 100. It's fast firing as well as uh, furious firing and uh, great scoring. Wonderful contest. Going back to that Scotland game, they'll cheer in Berwickshire because it's Berwickshire beating Ayrshire 10 0. <laughs> like that. Great adjustment. What about that from Class of First Dart? A stray one, single one. Precision throwing with the next two. It's sometimes it's difficult, difficult to believe when you when you put it like this. Two minutes, an average of two minutes yeah. per leg. That is some when, going. When Taylor played Barnevelt uh, in 1999 in a, a challenge, a two World Champions challenge uh, at the Wembley Indoor Arena, they played 31 Yellow legs in an hour of darts. But of course, the quality there. Oh. That's he needed, careless. The yeah, maybe the treble. Amazing. Oh, look at this. Possible 13 data here. Brilliant pressure, though. Classen here Number looking to make 24. it five consecutive legs. We pull that one badly. Big dart for the Dutchman. Oh, it's what a terrific dart. Player. How important could that prove to be? King. Came on. Devastated by that. He thought he was going to get a shot. It's 7 4, Klassen. 96. Yes, he led 2 1. He trailed 4 2. Now, five legs in a row. Admittedly, 100. one of them, well, it could have gone the other way, but uh, he's deserved the others for sure. Brilliant stuff. Just notice something here, John. For the first time, we talked about King enjoying the pace of the match. I think. With those three darts, he's just tried to slow it down a touch. Here he is, a little, little bit slower up to the hockey. Let's just watch this. The way, certainly. Yeah, for me, it, he's, he's definitely trying to slow it down. I'm not sure 
if that's the right thing to do. That's well spotted, I, I, I agree, yeah, slowed it down a little bit, and he, he may be trying to uh, just knock Klassen off his stride a little. Here we go. And uh, the, it can have, it can have, of course, uh, totally adverse effect on his own game. Mm. Anyway, here we go. Mervyn King needs a big score here, can't afford to lose this leg with throw. Oh, lovely stuff. Oh, magic would have been nice to see the 180. Well, <laughs> that have advertised those flights. Oh, great dart. Well, we'll come down. 135. Well, he's got a chance here, John, to break again. Right, he wanted. Oh, unlucky, he needed the treble 18 for the double 18. You're right, he's got a great chance of going eight. Four ahead against the number four seed. Brilliant double 16. He's got it. He's got it. He's not missing a thing at the moment. Unbelievably now. Won six red legs in a row. And he is really, really motoring. 96. And King is definitely trying to slow it down. He's looking for some way to try and rescue this game. We talk about players who are really good leading from the front. Mervyn King is normally pretty good uh, in fighting back when he's behind. He is a real scrapper. So Klassen knows he's still got some work to do. But throwing so here he. for a seventh consecutive leg. John, who would have believed when King was 4-2 up, we'd be looking at this scoreline now? Yeah, he'd gone 4-2 up with his first 180 of the match in the sixth leg and looking good. I tell you what, that 107 of Klassen's finish in the eighth leg. Absolutely brilliant it was. He's taught me something new. 107, nothing wrong with going for the bull. If you hit the 25, it leaves 82, so you go bull again. And uh, that really set this uh, game alight again. That was a, a disappointing dart there. What a re good recovery. Brilliant. Klassen, class. All sorts of pressure on Mervyn King. Semi-finals 12 months ago. The Dutchman here looking to go with one leg of victory. 33. Interesting to see how King goes on 107. The more conventional route, I rather feel, than that which we saw earlier from Klassen. No, he's gone that way, but he has did it. He hit three, treble 18 he needed for the bull. 16. Now then, Klassen, is it going to be seven consecutive legs? Bullseye for the Dutchman, oh, brilliant, absolutely sensational. What a performance from Jelle Klassen. He has won seven consecutive legs. He is one leg away from victory. Well, we talk about players being in the zone and that is exactly where Klassen was. He faced that ball 81. knowing that he was going to get it. 18-18, he hesitated slightly, he sighted it perfectly, 100. and that dart went right in the middle. Absolutely fabulous. And 9-4, uh, I've got to say, I don't think King deserves to be losing 9-4, but Klassen, what he has shown in the last 25 minutes or so, has been real quality, and I've got to say, I've got added... Uh... Just watch that 60. I, I, I really do think this fella's brilliant, Stuart. I, 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 I've been critical yeah. of him in the past, but this is fantastic. Well, just love watching him. It seems to me that he's playing with no pressure on his shoulders, no great expectation. Eric, Eric Bristow is spotting uh, with us during this match, saying it reminds him of, of the darts that Klassen produced when he won the World Championship because he's just no pressure. For the match, double 16! Oh, what a way to win it! What a performance from Jelle Klassen! What a magnificent display for the Dutchman! He has demolished Mervyn King! He's won eight consecutive legs! Wow! Yes! Bull, triple 13, double 16, rapid quickfire, and Jelle Klassen signing autographs 
is in the second round. What a match!